we're gonna make some cheese platters and some sandwiches. When you're buying cheese to entertain, whether you buy one, two, three, or more, you wanna to try to vary where they come from and the flavors. So I've tried to do that here. Um, most delis and gourmet markets have a real selection and they even have packaged cheeses that are from all different places. This is a goat cheese, ooh, it's a little softened here. It's a very soft goat cheese. And we're gonna lay that as cheese number one. Then we have an American cheese, and this is gonna be laid as cheese number two. We've laid our crackers down in rows. Also, as you can see, we have whole wheat crackers and then a table water cracker, which is a drier cracker. And it's nice to also vary, because some flavors go better, some cheeses go better with different flavors. Then we have a Maytag blue. Now I selected all these cheeses very carefully, and I tasted them all, and I think you'll all like them. This is a Maytag Blue, it's very tangy. Now anything that you feel you wanna remove, if you wanna remove a rind, if you wanna remove something, just do it. What we're gonna do to dress our platter, which will make it really nice, is put some grapes on it. Now you take grapes and we're not gonna put this much on. We're gonna cut them in little pieces. You just use a scissor and cut in between the, the stem so that you have a little cluster and just lay it in various places on your platter. And it will really impress people. It just makes it dressed up. It looks like you took some time and some care in doing so. And you can really use any fruit you want, anything that will look nice. You could slice uh, apples or oranges and anything that people will enjoy eating. It's a good idea to use a different knife for each cheese. One, it allows more than one person to take from the platter at a time and also it will keep them clean in flavors. That was easy. Look how pretty that is. Now we're just gonna make some sandwiches. I have some baguette that was sliced, and I use this beautiful green plate. It's a chopped plate that you use under a regular plate. So I was in the refrigerator, and I saw this scallion, and I thought it would be a nice garnish. The only thing is the edges are a little uh, dry, so I'm just gonna snip them with my scissor so it's a nice fresh cut, and it looks nice that you took some care and put it on your platter. I have some mayonnaise, and these are my sauces, you know, my, my two ingredient sauces, the mayonnaise and hot sauce aioli. Oh, this is a really juicy hot sauce. Look at it, death, oh my God. Oh, it's a chipotle, what did I learn today? Chipotles are jalapenos in adobe sauce. Adobo. Okay, and now we're just make, making a little dressing here, and we're just gonna put it on the toast, and then put a little salami on, okay? This doesn't take long, and you can you want to use mustard, use mustard. This is a nice dressing. It really good, works well with salami. You can buy a packaged salami, which I did. You can buy any kind of salami you want. You can also use a pepperoni. And this way it makes it easy for people to pick up little sandwiches and eat as they're walking around. You know, it's nice to have bite-sized pieces when you're serving people, so they don't have to take, get, get a plate and sit it on their laps. And we just put a piece of salami on each of it. It's just a little flavor, it's just enough. And we're gonna dress parsley. This is what I'm using parsley as a garnish. I usually tell you parsley is not a garnish, uses it as an ingredient, it's part of your food, now it's gonna be a garnish. I mean, you can eat it also, but it's nice to put it around the hummus. And there we have it.